So that's right, if you know what a control C and a control V is, that's copy and paste. Guess what? You're in luck. You know why? Because of this. That's right guys, Chris Craze here, and today's video we're gonna be talking about how to make money online by copy and paste. In other words, earn money by copy and paste. Don't tell me you don't know what copy and paste is, because if you do, then you should know what a control C and a control V is. That's all you gotta do, C, V, C, C, V, you get it? So anyways, what we're gonna do here, and the basic for this principle is you have to watch the entire video, because if you don't, then you skip to a specific section, none of it's gonna make sense. It's kinda like that puzzle. You got certain pieces that gotta go certain places, and if it doesn't work, simply it just doesn't work. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna teach you a method exactly how to copy and how to paste, and that's it without plagiarizing. The key word here is without plagiarizing because I wanna be ethical and I don't want you to go copy somebody else's content and go ahead and paste it and claim it as your own because that's wrong. If you recreate it, if you alter it to a certain percent, I'm not gonna state that here because it varies depending on country, state, things like that, but what the point is is this. Copy and paste and the bonus that I'm gonna give you at the end, you have gotta stick to see that because it's well worth it. It makes this so stupid simple that seriously, it's so simple. There's no way that you can't make money from it, but you gotta put in the time. As with anything, the time is a requirement. So don't leave a comment and don't say anything down here that it just doesn't work because I guarantee you probably haven't put in the time for it. And of course, my goal here is to explain everything on this channel about how to make money online. So if you like that video, do me a, vav a favor, <laughs> that video, favor, get that twisted. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, notification bells, leave a comment below and like, like, because that's what should be happening and I'm gonna be delivering a lot of content. Now, boom, let's get into the video here because I don't wanna take any more time and we're gonna go to my laptop in five, four, three, two, Boom, okay, now we're in my laptop. So the first website we're gonna talk about is Quora.com. You've either heard about it or you haven't, but guess what, now you have because I just said it. So what is Quora? Quora is a site built for answering questions. Now, fun fact here is it's founded by a guy named Adam D'Angelo and Charlie Cheever. Both of them are ex-Facebook employees and that really doesn't matter, I guess, because it's not that fun of a fact. But what is, is the fact that there was a competition that was held for the name. Now, the closest thing in relevance to the competition for winning, obviously Quora won because that's the name, was Quiver. <laughs> Out of any word, Quiver, right? So, take it as you will. That's just a fun fact, and it's a big LOL. Now, what we're gonna be doing here is explaining exactly what Quora is. So as you can see on the site here, Quora answers questions. You will learn a lot from Quora if you visit this. The reason why is it's filled with experts and people that actually do what they comment about. Now, the majority of the time, yes, and you can see who does what and if it really makes sense because why would somebody comment on something in depth and with such conviction and put pointers in there that they don't know a lot about. Now, I'll leave that up to your peril or your, your, your ability to determine that because that's not what we're determining here. But what we're gonna be doing here is going in Quora, as you can see on the page, and we're gonna be looking around. Now, why this is important, again, we're gonna come back to this later, so you gotta stick around. Now, the second website, let's jump over, is moneypantry.com, Money Pantry. Dot com. I don't need to spell it out because you know exactly what the site is, moneypantry.com. <laughs> now, what is Money Pantry? It's a blog on personal finance and guess what? How to make money online, kind of like what this channel's about. So the best part about it is you can see at the top, there's only three items in what's called the top nav or the navigation and that is earn money, 
save money and free stuff. Who doesn't want free stuff, right? This video is free. You're watching it right now. <laughs> now, let's click on earn money. Take that over. What you're going to see here is different ways how to make money. I mean, right at the top, it's so stupid simple. I'm talking, look at this, sell trash, standing in line. It's crazy what people are willing to pay money for. Now you can even start a business doing that, but we're not gonna take it that far here. Let's just get to the point. So we'll go back and we're gonna type in, get paid to write. Now when we type that in and we click, what's gonna happen? The next page shows up. If we scroll down here, you can see a couple things. Four ways to get paid and write lesson plans. Option, get paid to write resumes online, $28 an hour. Wow, that's twice or more what minimum wage is in the majority of the states in the US. In other countries, a lot more. So who wouldn't wanna do that? Option and possibility. Of course, we scroll down a little bit more, write reviews, you know, people do write reviews. Those ones on Amazon, you never know if they're real or not. Now, we get to this next one where it says, get paid to write. 101 sites that pay you $50 to $3,000 per blog post. Wow, that's great. What are we gonna do about that? We're gonna click it. Now, when we go over there, we're gonna see here, you scroll down a little bit, there's many topics. Now, open up the table of contents and you could see here, lots of topics. I mean, there's everything in here, travel, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, lots and lots. If we keep going, you wanna pick one of these that you vibe with. That's the goal here, whatever you vibe with. Um, and I say vibe because I don't wanna say whatever one you have experience in or you don't because everybody has experience in everything. I mean, if you traveled out your front door to the liquor store, technically you have experience traveling, right? You get it? So scroll down a little bit farther. I mean, look at this. You could write about anything in here. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> like I said, local stuff. Who doesn't know about the local stuff? I mean, you could write about what's going on at the McDonald's around the corner, and I'm sure somebody's there that wants to listen to it, bet. So, as we keep going, what's the point of this, and how do two of these connect? Well, this is how. You find a job possibility here of somebody that wants to pay you to write. Magazine, article, a blog post, whatever it is. Then. Once you have that niche, let's just say you pick something, whatever it is, you go back over to Quora, you search for that, and you start reading what other people have posted about it. Some people will have questions, some people will have statements, some people will tell stories. There's a ton of stuff over there. Now, if you didn't know anything, and I'm just throwing out something general here, let's say you wanna write about um, sports and outdoors. So uh, something in the sporting industry that just happened or something like that. You can go to Quora, you can go and search that and you can see what other people are writing. All you gotta do is find what other people have written. You copy and paste all of that into a Google Doc. Now, if you have a Gmail account, it's free. You go to, you go to Google your Gmail, there's a little square at the top, maybe we put one on the screen, and you just click on Docs. You open up a Google Doc and you copy and you paste everything in there, Control C, Control V, unless you're on a, on a, on a Mac, then you do the, the Mac C and the Mac V, whatever it is, Apple, Mac, you get it. So what's gonna happen now? If you just did this and you submitted that, a, it's gonna sound like crap, and B, it's gonna be plagiarism because you simply copied and pasted. So what you can do is, is you can take that text and you can go through it and you can make it sound good, make it sound legitimate, make it sound like it flows. Now, if you don't want to and you wanna be completely lazy with it, simply copy and paste some sentences, move those around, you get the point. Just make sure it flows because it has to make sense. Now, what we're gonna do is go over to the bonuses. We're gonna take this text and we're gonna throw it into what we call spin tax. We're gonna generate spin tax from it. Now, before I give you the bonuses, let me preface this and say this. What is spin tax? Spin tax is a computer generated option picker, if you will. So if you have these curly brackets, and I'm gonna show you on the screen here, actually let's jump over for one of our websites, but I wanna show you how this works so you get the concept of this. We're gonna jump over and we're gonna look at one of the websites, which is called spintaxtool.appspot.com. For my listeners, S-P-I-N-T-A-X-T-O-O-L dot A-P-P, S-P-O-T dot com. And as you can see on this example sentence here, 
we have a bunch of different words inside curly brackets broken up by pipettes. Now, what this does is this generator takes one option from each of the curly brackets. How this works is like this. You see the words here, fast, quick, swift. When I generate, then it generates a sentence. I click generate again, it generates another sentence. As you see here, when I keep pressing generate, a different word is selected each time. Now, each one of those curly brackets that's shown here with the different words broken up, it randomly picks between them. So you can generate multiple versions of the same sentence that's written one time. You write a sentence once and you can generate multiple versions of it if you have the spin tax of it. So you have to generate the spin tax, which leads us to actually our site and bonus number one. I had the to actually explain it, that's why we went to site number two first. But number one is called linkcollider.com slash page slash article spinner. For my listeners, L-I-N-K-C-O-L-L-I-D-E-R.com slash page slash article spinner. We're gonna go, we're gonna take that original block, one paragraph of text from that Word document, and we're gonna bring it over to this link collider and we're gonna generate spin tax. So I copy and paste, put it in here, the, the top block where the actual text goes, and then I'm gonna click the button. Now, as you see below, it generated the spin tax. So now I have spin tax. I'm gonna copy that spin tax block and I'm gonna jump over to the other site that we mentioned, which was the spin tax tool .app spot. And I'm gonna put that in the top section right there and once it's there i'm going to click go i'm going to click the button whatever the button says and i'm going to click it and you see here that it generates a brand new paragraph if i click it again it generates another paragraph now for the couple of words at the beginning and the end those haven't changed because those weren't inside curly brackets and they didn't have synonyms made but as you get the point here all you have to do is go in and you can generate new versions of this and if you switch the sentences around or if you get familiar with syntax and you have a curly bracket one of your sentences then you do a pipette the same sentence rewritten here the pipette the same sentence here with a curly bracket and you put that in there now you can do the same thing with your sentences as well you could do it with paragraphs it gets it gets multiple layers deep but don't overwhelm yourself keep it super simple and just get the paragraphs like i showed in this video voila there's your article. It spits it out and you can submit that and hopefully you'll get it submitted and you can make a lot of money doing that. So what was the purpose of all this? How to make money online by copy and paste. Earning money by copy and pasting, simple. If you wanna earn money by copy and paste, that's how you do it. It's very simple. That's uh, enough on this video. I gave you guys a secret that I've had for a long time. I don't see anybody else talking about it and it's legitimate as well okay so if you like this comment below obviously again hit that subscribe button boom and the notification bells ding ding and until next time i'm chris craze and we're out